Yesterday, there was an incredible leak with a journalist who got an exclusive early access copy to Crown Tundra going absolutely rogue and breaking the NDA and leaking all the information they could from the gameplay that they brought to us. And this info includes dex entries, pictures, names of all the new Pokemon coming in Crown Tundra that we have not seen. So guys, this video is going to contain a lot of spoilers and I'm not talking about bad hairstyles, I'm talking about spoilers about Crown Tundra because if you don't want to see those things, turn away now. Right after you drop the sub button because you do want to come back for future content, I'm pretty sure. But yes, anyone who does want to continue seeing and doesn't mind and has been on top of the leak so far, stay tuned because we're going to talk and we're going to show pictures of the new Pokemon. We're going to talk about their names, we're going to talk about their dex entries, their abilities and moves, okay? So let's get cracking. First of all, yesterday guys, this was the white horse that was revealed to be the new fusion Pokemon, one of the legendaries in Crown Tundra that we have not seen anything about yet. This is one of them, and this is coming out in a day, tomorrow. And this is the Dark Horse Pokemon that there was also revealed. So wait, oh no, that's the wrong one. Damn, it's so similar. This, <laughs> this is the real Pokemon, the Black Horse, that was revealed alongside the White Horse to be added as an extra legendary in Crown Tundra. Both of those Pokemon are going to be fusions for Calyrex. This is what those fusions will look like. Calyrex riding the shiny, 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 shiny pony. And as you can see, its actual legs are s s hovering over its hoofs with trails behind it now that's pretty cool that's kind of dark but pretty cool guys this pokemon is a confirmed ghost type okay it's ghost type so their names have been revealed this is them i mean we know a uh, regieleki we know reggie drago we know now the two horses glacier which is obviously the white frozen horse guys that's glacier and spectrier which is obviously the ghost one and with the fusions guys calyrex becomes the ice rider with fusing with glastrier and he becomes the shadow rider fusing with Sp Spectrier. It takes some getting used to these names. So guys, with the fusion version of both of these Pokemon, we actually have the dex entries right here. So for the Shadow Rider, which is this one, very cool, right out of like, uh, was it Game of Thrones? <laughs> and I mean, I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of the idea. I think it may have been partially inspired, of course, because this guy is going to be very, very, you know, in your face, very uh, noble, very of himself so we're gonna see about that anyway shadow rider guys the high king pokemon it is said that calyrex and a pokemon that had bonded with it ran all across the galar region to bring green to the wasteland so actually that's a good thing apparently uh it, it just it was it did one of the jobs of one of the gods in in zelda you know it just brought green life brought life to wastelands whatever the wastelands are but as as we know guys it's a frozen wasteland right now but this is using the shadow this is using the ghost pokemon which is odd ghost considering you know being a form of death with uh, life coming to the, the ground around it legend says that by using its power to see all events from past to future this pokemon saved the creatures of a forest from a meteorite strike so yes the dinosaurs are returning in crown tundra Look at its ability, guys. It's Unnerve and Spectrier's Grim combined. So, guys, we have to understand what that ability is in order to understand what's going on here. This is going to be the entry for the Black Horse by itself, Spectrier, okay? Spectrier is actually the Swift Horse Pokemon right here. And it probes its surroundings with all its senses, save one. It doesn't use its sense of sight. It has massive eyelashes but it doesn't look, okay? So Spectre's kicks are said to separate soul from body, and I mean, it does have pretty spectral style feet. As it dashes through the night, Spectre absorbs the life force of sleeping creatures. It craves silence and solitude. So like I was saying, dude, it doesn't really make sense that, well, by itself, the horse is a sort of death thing, sucking up life, and then with the rider on it, with Calyrex on top, it's giving life, it's the opposite. It's actually the opposite. That's interesting. Its ability here is Grim Nay, which is going to be combined with Unnerve when they're combined fused like this. When the ability knocks out a target, it utters a terrifying Nay, which boosts its special attack. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's just like uh, it's just like that other ability. 
Moxie, I got it, I got it. Yeah, Moxie, so uh, it's gonna be just like Moxie except for special attack. That's pretty nice, uh, because that is very useful. That's a very powerful move. I think this Pokemon, honestly, with Unnerve combined, that's gonna be that's gonna be OP. That's gonna be strong. Glass Shear is right here too. The Ice Horse by itself unfused Wild Horse Pokemon. Glass Shear emits intense cold from its hooves. It's also a belligerent Pokemon. Anything it wants, it takes by force. Really, I didn't. That's just not the image I get from it. Glass Shear has tremendous physical strength, and the Mask of Ice covering its face is a hundred times harder than a diamond. A hundred times harder than a diamond. Anyway, its ability is Chilling Nay. When the Pokemon knocks out a target, it does a chilling nay which boosts its attack stat so it's, that's the same as moxie okay it's the same as moxie well that should be pretty cool either way so it looks like we have a physical attacker and a special attacker in the other one so now it's time to look at calyrex the ice rider right here guys it's the high king pokemon again according to lore this pokemon showed no mercy to those who got in its way yet it would heal its opponent's wounds after battle that just seems weird, I don't know, but it's all about seeing so all about giving life and stuff back, even though, you know, this horse is belligerent, uh, is you're still giving stuff back, you know, you're, you're giving life, you're spreading life in one way or another, even if you're fighting, it looks like. It said this Pokemon once moved a large far it once moved a large forest, and all the Pokemon living there, to a new location overnight. How? I mean, that's a, that's a big job. Okay, so this is, of course, the one with Calyrex. So Calyrex is obviously going to be an extremely powerful psychic type. That's the idea. Its ability is going to be unnerved with Chilling Nay, which we just read, combined. So that's going to be still pretty cool. Physical and a special option of that. That's wild. Okay, guys, so it's time for Calyrex himself now. We do have some new details on Calyrex right here. It's the King Pokemon, not the High King Pokemon. It gets a promotion when it gets knighted. Calyrex is the merciful Pokemon, capable of providing healing and blessing. It reigned over the Galar region in times of yore. So very ancient Pokemon going miles back. Again, tying in with possible story implications with X and Y story and lore going way back. And also, you know, if you guys haven't seen my other video from earlier today, stuff about possible X and Y remakes coming next year, some new mainline game next year, possibly Gen 9. We don't know yet, but check that out at the end of this video. As for this, guys, oh, guys, you know what? Stop what you're doing right now for a second, and don't forget to subscribe, because you know what? Why not? If the next video I do, you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe, but you'll probably like it. I hope you will, because I keep doing these, guys. I'm an active PokeTuber, and I get you the stuff that you want to see. So you have nothing to lose by subscribing. But let's continue with this. Calyrex is known in legend as a king that ruled over Galar in ancient times. It has the power to cause hearts to mend and plants to spring forth. So yes, we did just read that. He heals people after battle. He spreads uh, life, green, greenery around the wastelands. That's it. So that really ties in with the combination, the fusions that we just saw with him. As for those fusions, guys, we didn't really have a good picture of it, but this is it here, a little blurry, and uh, this is the shiny form. Calyrex kind of gets a bit of a creamy taint on him with the shiny form, as you can see here. It's very cool. We did cover these in detail in the last video from yesterday. You can check that out as well if you wish. And this was the other one we did just see, another picture of the fusion with the ghost horse. But I think they look great. I do think they look pretty cool. All right, guys, so last thing on the agenda here. Before we go, we do have a couple of signature moves to read out here. We have Thunderous Kick. The user overwhelms the target with lightning-like movement before delivering a kick. This also lowers the target's defense stats. That sounds pretty good. Uh, that sounds really good, actually. That's going to be one of the horse's uh, movements. And we have Glacial Lance, too. The user attacks by hurling a blizzard-cloaked icicle lance at opposing Pokemon. Now, this can be presumed, it doesn't show or it doesn't explain carefully, but this can be presumed that this is going to be the Ice Horse's signature move, and this is going to be the Fusion signature move right here. We have the same thing going on just down here, right here. Astral Barrage for the Ghost Horse. The user attacks by sending a frightful amount of small ghosts at opposing Pokemon. Makes sense. And then Eerie Spell with Calyrex on the back. The user attacks with tremendous psychic power. This also removes 3 PP from the target's last... No, wait. Actually, I think that is... That move is actually going to be Galarian Slow Kings. Yeah, I was right. It is Galarian Slow Kings. So scratch that one on the horse uh, and guess Calyrex. However, the other the other two do seem to make sense, right? They just seem to make sense. But I guess we'll not long to find out, guys. We're going to find out tomorrow in a day's time. Very nice. So uh, I'll be streaming that. 
if you want to check it out while I'm streaming, I'm going to be doing it all in one sitting if you can. All right, guys, that is going to be a wrap for this video tonight. Thank you for watching. I hope you got your fill of new leaks as well. I hope you enjoyed those and do feel free to check out this video, this video, this video, or that video and that little sub button there too. There's a lot of stuff. I, I YouTube makes me do this. It's not what I want. It's what YouTube wants. <laughs> I'll see you guys around for the next video. Thanks for watching. Till then, bye.